sign of hopelessness. Hey. What people are more hopeless than our people? Hey. We the only people that gotta walk around and say Black Lives Matter. We the only ones that gotta say that. Hey. Why don't Asians sit up here talking about? You said jail, right? I'm gonna show you that in the Bible, right? Because this book is about the children of Israel. Hey. Follow me. It's not about everybody. It's not everybody's book. That's what we've been taught in religion or Christianity. You've been taught this, this book is a book of fairy tale and mysteries and it is a mystery book but the mystery is you the people love it right. right and when you read it and you're taught it properly it makes sense i'm gonna show you something about about uh our people being locked up in jail read what you got isaiah chapter 42 verse 22 Bring it out. but this is a people robbed and spoiled talking about the israelites he said this is a people that are robbed and spoiled meaning everybody benefits off of them this country was built off of the back of your ancestors' labor. Right. Right? They took the land from you first. They robbed you. Then they spoiled it. They, they took your goods. They took your, your, your labor for free. They raped your women. They took your children from you. Everything that you do, you work for minimum wage to make multi-billion dollar companies wealthy. See? That they put their children through college. That they take their uh, children and their families on vacations every week, every month See? to Barbados and, and Colombia and wherever place they want to go. Right. Off of your back. Right. While you making 15, 10, 11 dollars an hour. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Uh -huh. They are all of them snared in holes. They snared in holes. Why do, you, why do you think we call ourselves living in something called the trap? The ghetto is a trap. That's why we call it that. You snared in a hole, you snared living in the projects of America where the only thing that's going to happen to you are you going to go to prison, jail, or you're going to get killed. Right. Or you're going to be begging out here on the corner because you ain't got enough money to feed your family. That's the trap that America and this so-called devil called this white man puts you in. Right. That's what this is talking about. But read on, read it from the top. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in hope. Everything that this, this country, everything that this white man does is made to ensnare or trap the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Right. That's why you can't get ahead. No, your food is poison. Your education department or education system is trash. Right. Your neighborhoods are trash. Right. The black man, the father has been removed from the household. The black woman has been esteemed high in the household. And right. the black community is in worse case than it has ever been ever. Jeez. And then they pump dope, drugs, guns, and all kinds of things into the community for you to kill yourselves. Right. After they've already taken everything from you. Right. Read. Jeez. And they are hid in prison houses. Where are they hidden? In prison houses. And after he took the black man out of the home, gave you bad food, bad education, made the woman rule in the house and took the man out of it, put drugs and guns in your community, now he put you in jail and prison. Right. Call you a super predator. Call you a menace. Call you a thug. Call you a, a everything but a child of God. But he didn't put those things in your community. He set you up for the okie doke. We got to stop taking it. We gotta stop taking those things from this white man. He's setting you up for failure. Right. Give me that in, uh, uh, in uh, what is it, uh, Proverbs 31. Watch this, right? So let me ask you this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not, not that this is sin, it's not a sin to drink, contrary to what you, you told in, in Christian church. But I am a little curious, right? It's, it's early, right? It's early in the day. And I perceive you drinking, right? Right, nothing wrong with drinking. But watch this though, I'm, I'm gonna show you that that's a product of oppression. That our people wake up early in the morning before we even get our day started, we got to drink. I'm going to show you what the Bible say about that. You know what I want? Read that. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 6. Bring it out. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish. What does it mean to perish? To die. That's what it means. Our people are pretty much walking around waiting to die. That's why they drink. Jeez. That's why they do drugs. That's why they sleep around with a bunch of women and a bunch of men. They looking for anything to fill that void in them that they something bigger than just a nigga in America. Right. Something bigger than just a slave to the oppressors that set them up in the community. Right. Something bigger than a drug dealer or kingpin or rapper or basketball player Jeez. or anything outside of whatever that white man told you you could be. Jeez. That's why we drink because we ready to die out here. Most of our youth don't even think they're going to live past a certain age. They expect it because they out here ready to die. Read it again. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, Read. and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. And wine unto those that are depressed. Drinking a lot or drinking very early is a sign of depression. It's a sign of hopelessness. Hey. What people are more hopeless than our people? Hey. We the only people that gotta walk around and say, Black Lives Matter. We the only ones that gotta say that. Jeez. Why don't 
Asians sitting up here talking about Asian lives matter? Why don't white people sitting up here talking about white lives matter? Matter of fact, they do say that, but they only started saying that when we started saying black lives matter. Right. They felt offended that we had to say that. You, damn you killing us. Damn you pumping our neighborhoods full of drugs that we got us. Damn you doing things that where a police officer walks up and kills a 13-year-old boy or a 10-year-old boy or a 20-year-old man or a woman while she's sleeping in her house. Damn that. We, we the ones that got to say our lives matter. We have to say that. Read. Let him drink and forget his poverty. They say let him drink and forget his poverty. Who is more poverty stricken than the black, Hispanic, and Native American man? No. Who lives in the projects, the barrio, the ghettos of America? Jeez. It ain't white people. It ain't Asian people. They come and set up shop in your neighborhood and then take it home to their children. Right. That's why every store is owned by the white man, the Arab man, the Chinese man, the so-called African man. Because we've been told we Africans, and we are not Africans. We are Israelites. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. That's who we are. That's why I say mass conspiracy to stop you from knowing this Bible and who you are. This is why during the, the, the early 1800s and the 1700s and the 1600s, you were forbidden to read, especially this Bible. And if you dare pick up this Bible, you know what happened when people picked up this Bible and read it? We revolted. That's why you get things like Nat Turner. Gabriel Prosser, right here in Richmond, Virginia. That's why you get slave rebellions, because they read this Bible and they saw themselves in it. And they saw that that white man was the devil, the right. oppressor, and it made it emboldened them to revolt. Read it again. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery. Remember his what? His misery no more. That's why we drink. We want to forget that we live in the ghettos of America. Jeez. We want to forget that a boy just lost his life at 13 years old. Right. We want to forget that I might walk down the street and lose my life. Not to a white man, to a Chinese man, but to somebody that looks just like me and you. Hey. I want to forget that. I, don't, I want to be numb to what's happening out here. Why are people got to live like that? Why I can't walk down the street at night and feel safe with somebody that looks just like me? Right. Why I got to feel safe? Why when we get money, we got to move to the white man neighborhood to feel safe? Why we got to move to where the, per the same person that put us in slavery, I feel safer around him than I do around my own people? That's a destroy. That's You were taught that right here in America. Right. Read that again and, and uh, we're going to move on. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Deuteronomy 28. Watch this. I'm going to show you the spirit behind that because that's a depressed state. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, uh, like I said, I'm not saying drinking is wrong. I'm not saying drinking is wrong. Drinking is right. Too, too much of anything is not good for you. But I'm just trying to show you the spirit behind it. Watch this. I'm, I'm showing you the spirit behind why our people do these things. Because we depressed. We hopeless. We ain't got nothing. We begging people to do something differently than what they've always done to us, and that's oppress us. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. You know what makes us astonished? We have to say black lives matter. We have, we, why we've been here for 400 plus years and people from Ukraine can come over here and get grants, get businesses, and, and do better than you've been here and you built the damn country on your back. Right, That's right. astonishing. Well, you know what else is astonishing? A young black man walking down the street with pants, wearing a belt, but they sagging. Right. But he got a belt on. He got a belt on, but his pants below his ass. Or uh, a, a black man can't even raise his own kids. He got to go through hell just to raise. That's an astonishment. That's just, you should look at that. And, right, you exactly. We don't even have rights to our own children. You should look at those things and be astonished. Why is this happening to only us? Right. Nobody asks these questions. Why on earth are these things only happening to this group of people? It's because we sinned against God, and God said, when you did that, these things are going to be your your state. This right. is going to be your realization. Right. Read it again. The Lord shall smite thee with madness uh -huh. and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. That means you're going to look for every reason to get out of your poverty. You going, you know like a blind man groping, he can't see, so he kind of just reaching in the dark for whatever he can grasp onto to kind of make his way. That's how our people are walking around in America. We tried marching. We tried the Civil Rights Movement. Right. We tried the Black Panther Party. Right. We tried uh, the Nation of Islam. We tried voting. We tried getting guns. We tried everything. We, 
and we're still in the same condition that we've been in. We're still on the bottom of society. We groping, we grasping at straws, trying to figure out, okay, maybe it's economics. No, it's not that. Maybe it's the Christian church. No, it's not that. Maybe it's uh, politics. No, it's not that. We done tried everything except doing what God said do. Thou shalt not kill. We murdering each other. How about stop doing that? Thou shalt not steal. We robbing each other. How about stop doing that? Those are the solutions that we missing in our community. Not politics, not religion, not going into some church with some greasy head ass pastor and paying them all your damn money to lie to you, tell you Jesus is a white man, tell you the Jews are white people, and tell you that everybody on, the, on God's green earth is going to get the kingdom of heaven. That's not Bible. The Bible say only the Israelites is the kingdom of heaven. That's it. The Bible says God only loves those people. That is it. God hates everybody else that ain't those people. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 